last video of the day. Love. An intense feeling of deep affection. That butterfly feeling in your stomach when your crush walks by. The third most important thing on Maslow's hierarchy of needs. We all aspire to be in love one day. I mean, love makes the world go around. Love brought you here, love brought me here, and it also brought every single human being on this earth here. That shows how important love truly is. And what is one way to find love in the beautiful year of 2024? Dating apps. Dating apps, yay. We've all been on a dating app, right? Or am I just exposing myself for being down bad? I feel like everyone in their life has like an arc where they're on dating apps like crazy. I'm not gonna lie, my arc actually came pretty early because I mean, I'm 20 years old, I dropped out of college, I don't go to parties, I go to the gym, and I make videos. How else am I gonna find women? I mean, I could try rizzing up women at the gym, but I mean, I'm not trying to be Joey Swole's next victim, so. Yeah, you don't wanna be, yeah, you don't wanna be a weirdo. Like, doing it, because you don't wanna do it there because you're just gonna feel like a weirdo. Like, you know? It's already out of the window. So what do I result to? The wonderful world of online. Of dating apps. It's amazing. It's glorious. It's garbage. Now, for those of you that have never been on a dating app before, I feel like I got to explain to you guys the big three. You know how people always say there's a big three for anime? Well, it's the exact same thing for dating apps. And that big three is Tinder, Hinge, and Bumble. Tinder is the... I've never heard of Hinge before, actually. Uh, But uh, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, Tinder streams, uh, they're coming soon. I ain't gonna lie generic dating app with the whole swipe right and swipe left system right for like left for dislike if two people swipe right on each other boom it's a match after you match you can text that person back and forth and yeah that's pretty much it it's pretty simple but if i'm being honest nobody is on tinder looking for a relationship everyone is just on tinder looking to smash and no i'm not talking about hulk smash i'm talking about then you got Hinge, which is basically the dating app that gives the ugly dudes a shot. I say it gives the ugly dudes a shot because with Hinge, it has a completely different system compared to Tinder. Instead of just mindlessly swiping left and right, you have to like a picture or a prompt on somebody's profile. And with that, you can attach a little message to it. And if that person likes a message or likes how you look, then that person can choose to match up with you. So if you're not gifted with the looks of ASAP Rocky or Michael B. Jordan, then you still have a shot because you can kind of show off your personality. And then you Well, I'm good looking. I say so myself. So, do I look good? No, I'm looking. I'm looking kind of crusty though. I ain't gonna lie. I haven't washed my face. Like this is look at this on my eyebrow. I haven't washed my face. I need to uh, shave. So, but I think I look good. Do I look good? got Bumble, which in my opinion is honestly the worst out of the three. It's basically the same thing as Tinder. It's got the whole swipe left and swipe right system. But here's the twist. You know how in society, usually the man makes the first move when he's pursuing a woman? Well, on Bumble, it's a complete opposite. The women are supposed to make the first move. Men and women can both swipe left and swipe right on each other. But if they match, only the women can text first. It's pretty stupid if I'm being honest with you. On paper, it sounds like a great idea, you know? I see online a lot of people saying like if women shot their shot more, there will be more relationships ships out in the world which i do believe to an extent but at the same time i do think it's kind of stupid for an app to only let women shoot their shot first because i mean at the end of the day if i was a woman i would go nowhere near bumble and i say that because it just sounds like extra work like why download an app where i gotta make the first move and put in that extra step when i can just download tinder or hinge and just have men flock to me man this isn't really like related to the video but damn my boy got a dome on him man damn he got a dome on him Shit. It's like asking somebody if they'd rather get $1 million for free or $1 million, but they actually have to put the work in. Obviously, everybody's going to pick that $1 million for free. But yeah, those three apps are pretty much the main three dating apps. Anything else, I've honestly never used because be real with me. Who is out here using FarmersOnly.com? One thing that all these apps have in common, though, is that they all have these premium subscriptions. Nah, uh, Tender's premium is honestly ridiculous. Like, I think something came out a few months ago where they have like a, a tier where you gotta pay like 300 a month or some stupid crazy shit like that, bro. And I will just never pay for this. Like, I've never, it's never that bad. It, like, things have never gotten that bad. Uh, yeah. It, it, it's never gotten that bad. 
bro. Which offer like, things like more swipes, more information like who liked your profile, and boosts so more people can see your profile. But if we're being honest here, this is just a dating app's way of capitalizing on lonely men. And the reason I say lonely men is because on dating apps, most men get less matches than women because there's so many men on these apps. There's actually studies that show that Tinder is 75% men, Hinge is 64% men, and Bumble is 76% men. So what's one way to help with this overflow of men? Buying their premium subscription. And what's even crazier is the pricing on these plans. And then there's Tinder Select, which is Tinder for $500 per month. Now I gotta stay- Yeah, this is the shit. I remember this shit. I remember this shit. I gotta state this right here. Tinder Select isn't- month. Now I gotta state this right here. Tinder Select- Tinder for $500- Hey, right, this is the shit that came out. This shit. I said 300, bro. That shit was 500. Like, who was paying that shit, dude? Nah, you gotta be really, 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 really down bad to pay for this shit. Per month. Now, I gotta state this right here. Tinder Select isn't open to the public. You have to actually sign up for this. Only less than 1% of Tinder users actually have Tinder Select. So, it's not really that important. It's pretty rare. But regardless, it is Tinder for $500 a month. Like, we're not gonna sit here and act like that's completely normal. For $500, I better have a shot with Tiana Trump, Margot Robbie, Ruby Rose, and any other baddie on this earth. $500 is literally the price of a PS5. The saddest part about Tinder Select, though, is is that the people who actually buy this are most likely still going to get the same results that they did prior to having tinder select but let's be real some people honestly just deserve to learn the hard way if you spend 500 dollars on a dating app I yeah honestly if you spend 500 dollars on any fucking app honestly you honestly deserve whatever comes to you i ain't gonna lie like you deserve it i don't feel bad no one feels bad you honestly deserve it bro i ain't gonna lie. you deserve you deserve it bro you gotta hurt you gotta learn the hard way if you do stupid shit like that bro I mean, you deserve to have that post-transaction clarity. Also, one year of Tinder Select would be $6,000, which is absolutely crazy to me. If you're spending $6,000 for a dating app, number one, seek help. Number two, find God. Number three, you're probably ugly, if I'm being real with you. But you want to know a crazier fact? 14% of Tinder's users are paying users, and that's out of 75 million people. And 14% of 75 million is 10.5 million. So that means that 10.5 million people are paying users on Tinder. But if I'm being honest i'm not really as surprised i mean right now we are going through a loneliness pandemic studies actually show that one in four adults feel lonely in the world right now and also we are damn i'm one of the four i'm one in four i ain't gonna lie but i would never pay or anything i'll never do no shit like that bro never Never done it. In a time Never will. Where a lot of people aren't really as wise with their money. I mean, you got people out here buying OnlyFans subscriptions. You got people out here who are spending tons of money on in-game purchases like battle passes and in-game skins, which I'm not gonna lie, I am pretty guilty of. And you also got people. I've done my. I've done. I haven't bought a bunch though. Like I only, I only have a few skins. While you're spending tons of money on DoorDash and fast food each and Me every too. Day. So all that being Me, said, bro. what is Me. ten to twenty dollars nowadays? People blow that like it's nothing. So why not spend 10 to $20 and possibly get a relationship out of it? It sounds reasonable, right? And that's exactly how dating apps get you. At the end of the day, dating apps are a business and the goal of a business is to make money. If the goal of a dating app was to help each and every user find their significant other so they could live happily ever after in life, then that dating app would go out of business because that app would make no money at all. So what are dating apps doing? Selling a solution to the lonely society. And if you're that lonely man that's maybe dropped out of college, only goes to work in the gym, and you're not really around that many women then you're their exact target because you have two things money and loneliness but what's even worse is the algorithm of these dating apps tinder actually used to use this elo system which is basically a ranking system that's used in chess and video games i say used to in quotes because tinder said they took it out but let's be real that's just a pr business cover-up we all know that they're still using it till this day and how it works is they would rank you based on your attractiveness slash how many people would swipe right on you so pretty much if a ton of people swipe right on you that means that you're in high elo and tinder values you a lot and if you're a person who a bunch of people swipe left on and they just skip you, basically that means that you're in low elo and you're ugly. But if that high elo person- <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> nah, that hurts, I ain't gonna lie. 
like somebody's profile who's low elo that low elo person's score goes up so if that high elo person has terrible taste in men or women it's a field day for the ugly human beings of the earth but what's one way to have more high elo people on your feed and have your profile pushed out to more people in general paying for their premium plans it's actually pretty sad because it all just boils down to dating apps wanting more money at the end of the day love is priceless you can't just pay your way to love just have fun go outside live your life and eventually you'll find your significant other i feel like too yeah bro that shit's gonna come naturally bro don't force it bro that always it always comes naturally like the forced ones never work out oh god it never works out bro it comes naturally many people nowadays try to force slash rush the process of things and one of those things being relationships slash love now with this video do i expect every single person that watches it to delete every single dating app on their phone no because that's not my intent i mean if you use tinder or any other dating app for free i honestly don't care like if that's what you find fun that's what you find fun but i guess my whole point of this video is that do not spend your money on dating apps you work hard for your money and if you're young 20 dollars is like one to two hours of work and if you're old that's like less than an hour of work but regardless do you really want your 20 dollars to go to a slimy dating app let's be real here but yeah with all that being said this is going to wrap up the video if you guys made this far i appreciate you if you guys enjoyed this video then i highly recommend love you cameron my stream hit three hours this is the end